welcome to Linux help tutorial. I am going to explain about how to install Libre NMS in CentOS. Libre NMS is a auto discovering PHP MySQL SNMP based network monitoring tool which includes the support for the wide range of network hardware and operating systems like Cisco, Linux, FreeBSD, Juniper, HP etc. Libre NMS is a community based fork of ObserveVM. Some of the features of Libre NMS are automatic discovery. It automatically discovers the entire network using the CDP, FTP, LLDP, SNMP, and ARP. It has a customizable alerting system which notifies through email, IRC, Slack, and etc. The Libre NMS has a plugin system that enables you to extend your install for your needs. Now we can see the installation of Libre NMS in CentOS. First we can install the MySQL server and SNMP packages. The command is m install net iPhone SNMP space MySQL iPhone server. Now give enter. Now give us to download and install the packages. Now the packages are getting downloaded. This will take some time. Now the installation is completed. Now we can start the services. The command is service mysql d start. Now give enter. Now the service is started. Next we can start the snmpd service. Service snmpd start. Now the service started. Next we can run the check config command to enable the services to start at boot. The command is check config mysql d on next we can run the check config command for the snmpd service check config snmpd on next we can set the password for the mysql root user for that you need to run the mysql secure installation command mysql underscore secure installation now give enter now the password for the root is none so give enter now we need to set the password for the root user now give us now enter the password for the root and retype the password now give us to remove the anonymous users and to disallow the root login remotely give us now remove the test database and access to it next you need to reload the privilege tables now give us now the mysql setup is completed next we need to log in into the mysql use the following command mysql iphone u root iphone p now give enter now enter the password for the root user now give enter now we have logged in to the mysql next we need to create the database for the libre nms the command is create database space the database name followed by the semicolon now give enter now the database is created next you need to grant the privileges for the database grant all privileges on space the database name dot asterisk space two now we need to create the database user so enter the username within the quotes space at quotes localhost space identified by the password for the database user quotes now enter the password now close the quotes now end it with the semicolon now give enter now flush the privileges flush space privileges colon semicolon now give exit next you need to edit the etc my.cnf file the command is vim slash etc my.cnf and add the following line i know db underscore file underscore per underscore table is equal to one now save the file and exit next you need to restart the mysql service to apply the changes the command is service mysql d restart now the mysql service is restarted next you need to install the epl package the command is m install epl iphone release now give us to download and install the packages 
or the full package is installed next we need to install the other dependency packages that are needed for the libre and ms these are the dependency packages that are needed for libre and ms now give enter now give as to download and install the packages this will take some time now the dependency packages are installed next we can install the net ipv4 and net ipv6 the command is peer install net underscore ipv4 hyphen 1.3.4 now give enter now the package is installed next you need to install the net ipv6 the command is peer install net underscore ipv6 hyphen 1.2.2 v2 and give enter now the package is sort installed next you need to configure the snmpd on local host for that you need to edit the snmpd configuration file the command is vim slash etc snmp slash snmpd dot conf now give enter now we need to add the following line at the end of the file now remove the as and at the last line add the following line ro community space public space 127.0.0.1 now save the file and exit now restart the snmpd service service snmpd restart now the snmpd service is restarted next you need to add the libre nms user for the apache web server the command is user add libre nms space hyphen d slash opt libre nms space hyphen m space r now give enter now the libre nms user is added then next you need to add use the user mode command user mode hyphen a space hyphen g space libre nms space apache now give enter now the libre nms user is added for the apache web server next you need to enable the apache web server to start the web server at system boot the command is check config httpd on next you need to edit the etc php dot ini file to set the time zone the command is vim slash etc php dot ini now search the time zone now here you can see the date dot time zone option you need to enable the date dot time zone option by removing the semicolon front now we need to add your time zone after entering your time zone now save the file and exit next you need to add your virtual host for the libre nms now we need to edit the apache configuration file the command is swim slash etc httpd slash conf slash httpd dot conf now give enter at the last you can see the virtual host column in that you need to first you need to enable the virtual host by removing the hash in front of name virtual host line after enabling the virtual host you need to add the add your virtual host at the last here you need to change your server name that is your need to enter your host name here after adding the following lines for the virtual host now save the file and exit next you need to download the libre nms package change the directory to slash shop and run the following command now run the following command to download the libre nms package and extract the package now give enter this will take some time now the package is downloaded and extracted now change the directory to libre nms now we need to prepare the web interface and in installation now we need to create a directory named rrd and logs the command is mkdir space 
rrt space logs now give enter now we need to set the ownership for the libre-nms directory the command is change on hyphen r space libre-nms colon libre-nms space slash opt slash libre-nms now give enter now the ownership is changed next we need to set the permissions for the rrd directory the command is change mode the permission is double seven five space rrd now give enter now the permission is set next we need to start the apache web server to start the debris nms installation the command is service httpd start now the httpd service is started now we can open the browsers to start the installation now open the web browser now type your ip address and give enter now we can see the libre nms installation web page now you can see the required packages are installed now click the next stage and next we need to enter the db host name and the db username and the db password and the db name now give the next stage next step it is importing the mysql db now the step is completed and you can see the done message the database setup has been successful now go to the add user now we need to enter the username password and the email i'm going to give the username as user1 and the password for the user and you need to give an email for the user now click add user now the user is successfully added now we need to generate the configuration file now click generate configuration and you can see the warning message that the config.php file is not created now we can create the config.php file here's the configuration for the config.php file now copy this configuration and open the terminal and create the config.php file now give enter and add the and paste the configuration that you have copied now we need to add the following line dollar config quotes f ping now close the quotes and close the braces the config square brackets and close the square bracket space is equal to space double quote slash user slash yes bin slash f ping now close the double quotes and end it with the semicolon editing the php configuration file now save the file and exit and go to the browser and refresh the page now click recent now we can see the installation is completed and it is moved to the next step that is the login page of the libre nms now we need to enter the user that you have created during the installation now enter the password and click login and you can see the uh, successfully logged into the libre nms next you need to add your local host and before adding the local host you need to check your installation for ins checking the installation you need to use the php space validate dot php command now give enter now we can see now we need to run the change on iphone r and the libre nms to change the ownership now now the ownership for the libre nms directory is changed now again run the validate.php command now we can see the database connection is successful and there is no problems with the installation next we need to add the local host the command is php add host dot php space local host space public space v to c now give enter now the you can see the message the device is added to the local host 
next you need to discover the local host the command is php discovery dot php space hyphen h space all now the discover php command is completed next you need to create the cron jobs by default the libre nms cron job runs the polar wrapper dot py with the 16 threads you can change that by using the following command slash opt libre nms slash polar hyphen wrapper dot py space 12 space double greater than space slash tev slash null space 2 greater than ampersand 1 now give enter now the threads are changed next you need to create the cron job by using the following command cp libre nms dot non root dot cron space slash etc cron dot t slash libre nms now give enter now the cron is created and the installation process are completed now open the browser and refresh the libre nms and here in the devices you can see the server that is added that is the local host now click the local host and you can see the local host information here on the graphs and you can see the logs messages and for adding the more devices for the network monitoring you can click the add device to add the devices that you need and here you have the ipv4 search ipv6 search and max search and the arc tables and here you can add your plugins you have the default plugin here you can you have the alert options and here you have the global settings if you want to add the users you can use the add user option here if you want to edit the user you can edit the libre nms network monitoring tool is successfully installed in centos thank you for watching